Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again for some more Death World Extreme in our uh, Factorial 0.15 build. Uh, we've got a lot of this going on, where we got these um, really nasty biters spewing stuff at us. And uh, two things I want to do here, or three things I guess in this episode I want to really uh, get a good bite into. One, I want to get rid of this base. This base is too close. In nice big open terrain. Now, if we look in there, I believe, yeah. Uh, there's a little iron deposit there, but there's trees like kind of out past this, so after that, that might have a little bit of a buffer, but this is just feeding like mad. So it was up here, but eh, not that urgent. This area is feeding like crazy. Uh, but I guess what we really need to do, a couple things I want to point out. One, this is awesome! 1,679% combined yield of crude oil uh, so we must have found that when we put some new uh, radars down somewhere but that's exciting to know we're not entirely out of radar mind you it is miles and miles out into the deathly desert here so uh, what we got going on oh we got a real fight let's go help them out shall we uh, like this and like this that's nice right there um so I guess what we all get, got to do eventually is go take care of some of that, or go bring some of that uh, oil and other things online. Uh, let me repair these, and then I will look at the map again, and I have an idea that I kind of want to... I was thinking about between episodes, and I kind of want to... Um, I don't know, maybe I did mention it. I don't remember if I actually mentioned it or just thought about mentioning it. But right along here, this see this thick tree line? in here. Uh, that is kind of a natural buffer for us. See how the pollution isn't barreling out past it. So if we don't super over pollute that area, um, we, I mean, we're going to bump our pollution up, but we can take care of this and knock them back here and knock this back sort of thing. But I want to put in this defenses and I want to put in, put them in also, these defenses also in here. We'll take care of that probably in an episode or three. Uh, and then eventually I want to run this line south of these trees all the way basically from here. Ooh, that's some serious biters. <laughs> Yummy, look at all that action. Um, somewhere from right here, basically run this line, I think right about here, middle of the road here, and all the way across to this lake. And then push south. We just kind of keep shoving our weight south. But that's a long-term future expansion. Uh, this will definitely have to be a goal over here uh, and not too distant future we have to get ourselves out to this stone deposit because we are completely out of stone within our base so uh, but what to do this time well we have been dawdling around quite a while with I don't know if dawdling is the right word but spending quite a bit of time um, on uh, various different defense systems and clearing things and setting up some different infrastructure uh, but I think we have to really take a step to uh, getting ourselves up in technology so that's gonna mean blue science so I think that's where we're going to head this episode we're gonna try to put some focus in on uh, developing our blue science production so what we're gonna need for blue science I'll throw one down here just to observe it uh, blue science is going to take 12 seconds to produce so to do one per second we will have 12 of those manufacturing uh, if we do um, one every two seconds which is more likely the target I'm gonna have at this point um, we're gonna go with uh, needing advanced circuits the red ones uh, engine units and electric mining drills so to do all that those are all ridiculously expensive I think I almost prefer the old way but um, we can pipe over some of this stuff, and where do we want to set up this build? It's not going to be a big build, so, uh, green circuits, they're already coming down here. What if I brought them down to connect to start on, say, let's start with, 
uh, the red circuits first. Uh, let's think through ratios here though first, Drake. You're gonna need ratios. So, we need one of these per, per run, and we're going to do 12 of them simultaneously, which means we need one of them every second. So we need this whole build once per second. So one red circuit per second, we need one engine per second, and we need one electric mining drill per second. All right, so one uh, red circuit per second is going to take what? It will take two green circuits, four plastics, and eight copper cables. Now to do that, oh hi, incoming attackers. Ah, the beauty of it all. The pure beauty of the destruction and carnage that our defenses lay out. Uh, wouldn't mind putting in another one of these guys. Now, one second here. Okay, so we have to get copper cables produced. Now, eight copper cables it says it's going to take, right? Is that what it said? Oh, come on. Eight copper cables, right? Per one of those. I need six of these running. But I need eight copper cables per second. Uh, copper cables are going to produce at... Doop, 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 there you are. Copper cables will produce at two every half second, so two of these babies will produce enough. Uh, two of these are going to produce enough for how many? I don't think I'm going to try anything particularly fancy with the build for this portion. Uh, let's, might as well start it right over here. Like that. Bring this guy in here and run the copper down the line. Do that. Put in a second one there. And let's do that and power it. And you've got your copper cables. Now, oh, we don't need the copper all the way down there. <coughs> now, to do that, that's going to be two of them, right? Uh, well, that's awkward. How about we do this? And then we drop the power in there, and then put this guy in here. And we've got our cables on a line. Good. Uh, and then I need plastics. I need, what's the ratio? Darn man, try to remember these things. Uh, we could put the green circuits and the plastics on one and copper on the other. That would be lovely, and I need six of them. So the copper cables are going to go on one. Oops, one side there. <laughs> the mosquito literally just buzzed into my face. Uh, which in Canada and Manitoba can be very dangerous. They can fly away with small children, though the rumor says, anyways. Um, hmm. We've stockpiled quite a bit of plastic. But I think we need to divert said plastic away now. I'm just going to do a really ugly run straight across here. Where am I going? Up to here, probably. <coughs> Uh, was that too far? Never. Uh, yeah, it was. Let's go this way. Um, there. Yeah, come back here. Okay, so. Blip. Get rid of those. Hi, can you actually turn? Thank you. And up there. And there. And uh, up there. Yay! And all the things and stuff, and they're connected. Uh, I could just go like that, and then I could bring this over and go like that. And like that. Yay, plastics. Okay, so, after the buffer of plastics finishes, we will have not enough petroleum gas. 
Are we short on something? Yeah, those aren't running. Why are they not running? Because they have light oil stored. Our light oil is not going anywhere because we're not using it. We're way short. We're, we're just about out of that. Um, I think maybe we do this. Oh no, that's the heavy oils all the way down that line, isn't it? Uh, I suppose we could just store more light, right? We could do that. Just store more of the light for now. Eventually, eventually I say, we will deal with this issue. One, two, three. Come on. Four. Four of dim. And you are now light. Yay, now everything can start generating again, right? Wow, that was a lot of backup in those lines. So that was what was stopping us from producing plastics. Oh no, the coal's not getting down there. <gasps> oh, this is only one coal. He's not enough. He's have to be not enough, eh? Let's run him down there and connect him up. Now he's not what? Okay, this is ridiculous. I keep getting attacked by a mosquito. They're dangerous creatures. I tell you, they're dangerous. <clears throat> Pardon me. Getting assaulted by mosquitoes while I'm trying to do a recording. It's a lethal place I live, this Manitoba. These giant deadly creatures. Big mosquitoes. Alright. And we need six of the... Oh, look at... Oh, that's almost... Almost the right spacing. Almost, but not really. Oops, wrong button. You're gonna go this. You're gonna change this entire thing. And you're gonna come up here, and then you come down here, and I think that time spacing is right. Now I want six of these. Ew, the spacing's not right. Darn you. Hey, research. How you doing, old buddy, old pal? Uh, I want this. Advanced oil processing, please. One. Oh, I need an output. Uh, I suppose we could do reds to feed in. Yes, we could. But, oh no, don't even have enough space for them. Well, um, one every two seconds isn't a terrible setup, so let's do that. Uh, this is all going to eventually upgrade as I do a much bigger build. And I've been thinking over how to long-term the base. Like, you know, this whole thing has been built on, really on a shoestring as we kind of develop within the limitations of whatever um, the biters will allow, basically. And, um, mm, that's not going to work. That will there, though. Um, and I think eventually we're going to have to go and say, okay, I'm going to tear a whole, do a whole bunch of tearing apart here to make sure that I've got a, uh, yay, red circuits, that I've got a base that can actually, you know, be efficient. Like, for instance, let's pause it here. Like, this is a smelting unit. The start of a really good smelting world. And it can continue over to, you know, say here, and we can extend it maybe up to the waterway, and go with a second or third or fourth layer even up into here. Uh, we can go three layers anyways high in this whole place, and have it all come out in, a, in lines and meet in one big giant bus that uh, heads maybe, I don't know, west or north or whatever, right? But in doing so, we're going to want to do things like get rid of this mishmash of this bad cramped science and we're gonna get eventually burn out all this stuff in here so we're probably gonna remove the science and do a big massive network for production of ugh, mosquitoes no killing mosquitoes are almost as bad as biters um, of uh, basically a setup where we got all the circuits and everything in mass production so we'll look to that later but I do I, I'm just just as a you know side note I definitely want to tend to that at some point or another so these guys produce one every th you know one every other second they produce they can produce this stuff and it looks like the plastics are starting to build up maybe almost yeah the plastics are starting to build up that's great yay we're actually producing red circuits um, to do so, I think I'm going to temporarily do this, uh, where they just get chested for now. 
right, that's good. Uh, and then we'll continue wherever we're gonna take them after that. Uh, so what else do we need for that build? Um, just to recap, we, to do uh, blue science, is going to also take an engine unit and an electric mining drill. So let's look at into what those take to make. And we can build them somewhere, somewhere reasonable. Um, an engine and an electric mining drill. Engine and electric mining drill. Where are you guys? Uh, engines and electric mining drills. Okay, so these guys are going to take iron plates. 20 iron plates, 10 gear wheels, and 5 green circuits. Wow, that's crazy. Erno, Erno, damage, damage, damage. We've lost a wall. Where did we lose our wall? This is not acceptable. As my walls. Get off my walls. Yep, we lost a wall. That was like probably two attacks. Maybe one. This looks like a pretty big one all the way down. Body count all the way down the wall here, so. Maybe we need to put some flame flame turrets in here. I've got 38 of them in my pocket, why not? Maybe we should connect them to light oil, huh? That's a good idea, Drake. A good idea. Let's do that. Okay, you go there. No, you go there. Thank you. And then uh, flame turrets in here. Like that. And that. Three, four, five, six. Ha 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 ha. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna torch them. They ain't gonna live for a second when they come near this wall. This wall is going to take a lot of, hey, stop it, a lot of light oil, isn't it? It's gonna chew through the light oil. I don't want a flame turret that's gonna start those trees on fire, so we'll leave it at that. We'll stop there, and then you guys can go do this sort of a connection all the way up. I do love my flaming turrets. I don't know if I'll ever be able to um, stop using them. Although apparently with this new uranium, when you start getting uh, uranium rounds, you start getting some seriously powerful uh, defenses. So I don't know if I'll use them, but probably in later, 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 later in the game. You know, episode 100 or something crazy like that. Oh, where's my light oil? Oh, wait, that's right, it's further up. I didn't run the crude this way, or the light this way yet. There, 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 and there you go. There, now we got some use for that light oil. These guys should all be in the green. Oh, look at all that plastic building up. It's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. They are too. They're all lit up and they're all flaming ready to go. Uh, you know what? I think we are going to uh, jostle this a little bit. Can I get another set down here? I suppose the only way to do that is to make a really awkward, like, this sort of a thing. That. And then, hey, that's solid pipe. Can't go through there. And then across here. Just make it make it run around behind. In case we didn't have enough spaghetti in our factory already. Mmm, spaghetti. Alright. You guys can just run south, please. Like that. Oh, I ran out of those insertery things, those undergroundy things. I'm out of iron plates now, too. Creepers, creepers. Also running out of time in this episode, too. Also not spectacular. Alright. That wasn't a lot of them. Okay. Well, you'll have to do... Do, 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 do. Oh, bother. You're so inconvenient, truth. There you are. And let's uh, throw the power line back, back in. And there we go. 
All right, we have diverted the iron. Apparently the top line of iron is far more used. Let's uh, do that. Clean her out. I don't care to collect them all in my inventory, although I already did apparently. All right, and this one, oops, that goes there, and that goes there, and we're good. All right, there we go. That didn't solve much of the problem. That only solved part of the problem. Uh, there, and there, and okay, now we solved the problem. Since we're insistent on cramming nonsensical amounts of stuff into hi, stop running on a belt backwards into a small space instead of just expanding. Oh no! Belt explosions. Um, what do we need with how many belt explosions? Oh no, I'm running out of space. I'm running out of time. I mean, here, I have a red belt just for the sake of having a red belt. Suppose I can't do this in a neat, orderly fashion, can I? Um, okay, now, that lets me put in, I won't be able to get to the next piece, but I can do this part. And we can get that going at a, at a higher kilter. There, and I'm out of blue inserters. Really, 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 for reals. Uh, oh, we're running short on iron on the line, aren't we? Why is this? Perhaps we need to tend to that next episode. It looks like we are thinned out on our iron supply. Is it the iron ore that's not making it in full volume, maybe? Hmm. Uh, object being damaged. I don't like walls being damaged up in the supposedly safe zone. Apparently it's not so safe, is it? Uh, that can hop across there. This guy can come down this way to there, and then this guy can come down this way to there, and then this guy can dump across to there, and then this guy can go in there, and this can be there. Feed in, please. Feed in. Give me power on that side and give me power across there. Okay, there we go. No, that is not right because you have not been turned on. Now you're on. Now I need some red to dump across like that and that and that. Apparently I need to power them differently because I used the wrong power poles, that's why. Stop mid swing. Sorry guys, there we go. We are operational again. Okay, so we got our red circuits online, not particularly overly productive. We have a solid backup of plastics. That makes me happy, happy. Uh, we have some more damaged walls happening. We'll have to take a tour around in the next episode or two and take care of some of those defenses. We did uh, shore up the west, southwest wall here. It's pretty solid, and we got some damage going on up here. What's going on up there? Uh, is it still being, you know, no, out of radar range. Hmm, have to put some radar in too, but uh, that'll have to wait for next time though. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd love to have you on the team, and um, yeah, check out the other videos we have, and as always, I'll see you in game.